All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So I got another Fake You Bell card here. Uh, it was sent to me by Xeno Prodigy. Uh, the one that did the, he did a he did a nice chunk of them. I believe he did like Fiendish Monk, Gemini Circle, uh, Le Bai or New Bell Backwards, that uh, Synchro Monster, and the Supreme King. So yet another card. This is alternative U Bell, yes. Even U Bell needs an alternative form because we already know that uh, alternative blue eyes is just so strong. So why not? get your bell one. So this card actually has a lot of influence on the Supreme King. So if you did not see that fake card Friday, the link will be in the description. Go ahead and click that. Go to that fake card Friday. Look at that card and then pair it up with this card as well. Because if you did not see that card, the, there's actually a part of this effect that has to do with that card. So if you don't know what that card does, then you'll probably be a little bit lost. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and look at this. So alternative you bell. So still dark, still level 10, still a fiend, still effect monster, still zero attack, still zero defense. All right. Cannot be special summoned slash set. Must be special summoned from your hand by revealing you bell in your hand. Okay. So I guess maybe this would encourage you to play more you bell. I don't know. And generally, generally, uh, and I say this generally, I play one you bell in my you bell decks. Uh, I believe the only one that I play multiple you bells is probably Fire King you bell. So yeah, but I mean, with number generator and you run one you bell, you might get this, but it definitely seems like it would encourage you to. To play more you bell, maybe play more of a fire king variant. That way you can use your fire king field spell to blow up the you bell in your hand if you don't know how the alternative you bell to then summon Terra incarnate because uh, you bell doesn't care what she's destroyed, including your hand. So maybe a little bit of Yaksha, maybe a little bit of fire king island is good. But um, we'll, we'll look at triple you bell and then triple alternative you bell. I'm, I'm assuming kind of like blue eyes. I don't know. It had to be play tested, but of course I can actually test the fake card, right? Anyway. Uh, you can only special summon one alternative you bell once we're this way. I believe Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon says that as well, so you can't just go reveal special summon alternative reveal, special summon alternative reveal, special alternative attack 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 game, so that's fine. Uh, this card name becomes you bell while it's on the field or in the graveyard. I, I don't think that has relevancy similar to, uh, to, uh, Alternative blue eyes. Alternative blue eyes, you know, whether it's uh, blue eyes on the hand, uh, on the field or in the graveyard, you can revive it. Uh, whether this is Yubel in the field or in the graveyard, I don't think has too much relevancy, but all right. And then uh, we start getting to the actual meat and potatoes of the effect, and uh, similar to uh, to Yubel's effect. So uh, this card cannot be tried by battle. All right, you take no battle damage from battles of all in this card. But I do not see the effect that your opponent would take the damage. So uh, there's not going to be any of that reflect back to your opponent with this card. So rip on that, but I guess it's okay. Uh, but it does have a different effect. Uh, after the battle phase, if this card was attacked, you could banish one card on the field, then draw one card. So instead of reflecting the damage out of your opponent, if your opponent attacks into this, then you get to banish your card on the field and then draw one card. I seriously doubt your opponent would attack in this, because like I said, this card was attacked, it's not, uh, this card battled. No, this card was attacked, so unless you make it so your opponent attacks into this monster, I seriously doubt they'll attack into it. But if they happen to, you get to banish a card on the field, which is pretty good, it's non-targeting, and you get to draw a card as well. So that's a great effect if you can pull it off. Uh, but this card's not done, it has more effects. So, once per turn, you can fusion summon uh, the Supreme King from your extra deck using one monster from your deck as fusion materials, including this card. So, this card counts as you bell, and uh, then, of course, if you remember, the Supreme King, uh, you used that level 6 or higher, I think it was Dark Monster, or, or I believe it was that, I think it was level 6 or higher for Dark Monster. So, you pretty much reveal special summon this, then you activate this effect, you can summon this card with the Doom Shaman in your deck to then summon the Supreme King, which is the other fake card that was made, like I said, link in the description. So, you summon this and you get a powerful Supreme King with E, so overall, I mean, that's pretty strong. But this card's not done, it's not done, like, when we make fucking fake cards, you gotta make them broken! So, a fusion monster that was summoned using this card on the field gains its effect, so, the Supreme King would gain its effect. It is unaffected by card effects, and if it attacks a defense position monster, inflict double piercing damage to your opponent. Alright, so it's unaffected by card effects. So once you do this, reveal summon you bell. Uh choosing summon Supreme King, who I believe cannot be destroyed by battle. Yeah, he cannot be destroyed by battle. 
then he cannot, he is unaffected by card effects, and he has double piercing. Like, okay, okay, so unless you have some kaiju action, it's pretty much game. Also, he's a 3,000 beater. 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense. So, yeah. <laughs> like, Xeno, Prodigy, calm down, man. Like, I don't mind if Yubel gets a little bit strong, but you don't need to fucking make Yubel broken. Like, definitely, definitely throw this in with fucking, like, I'd probably go with maybe like a Fire King, kind of like supervised Doom Shaman version, because... You kind of maybe want to do it. No, you probably not need to do Fire King, really. Like, you could probably just run triple Yubel, triple of this, and then, like, triple, triple Yaksha, triple Tenki, maybe a Baron, some Wolf Barks if you want to go that far. Like, I'd probably take it that far because you don't always want to search with the Tenki. You don't always want to grab Yaksha. So, yeah, I'd probably go triple Yaksha, triple Tenki, triple Wolf Bark because Wolf Bark is just so freaking good. And a Fire King Bear just to throw the chair. Those chairs that will be stuck there after I search with Tenki. Uh, then throw it in more of a uh, supervised version of the deck. So Doom Shaman with the Tinker and, you know, the swings and stuff like that. And then just fusion summon this, reveal a special summon you bell. And uh, <laughs> fusion summon to that Supreme King who uh, cannot be destroyed by battle, is unaffected by card effects, has double piercing damage, like get wrecked. You know, simple as that. So. Yep, yep, overall, this is a really great card, it really is, so. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that episode of Fake Card Friday, so like I said, if you have no idea what I'm talking about with uh, the Supreme King, like I said, link in the description, go there, and then, you know what, check out all the Fake Card Fridays, like, this is probably one of my favorite series on the channel, it's just so fun to uh, look at fake cards, the people send me fake cards, and the majority of the time they do, they send me U-Bell cards, they don't always have to be U-Bell cards, if you want to send me some fake cards, then go ahead and comment in the comment section below, uh, send me the card image, you know, the effect uh, would be helpful, that way I don't have to look at your card and then type out the entire effect in the description. I could just copy and paste it in the description so that would help. And uh, if, I, if I feel like, you know what, this will definitely be interesting to talk about, I will review it on the next Fake Card Friday. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Thanks for watching.